And we were like, huh? Anyway, sorry, Maddie, I had to hold you. Oh, Pichu! Wow, I'm interested in this. I know that last time Maddie played John, and I think even the last two times he went Sora, but maybe he has a different plan in mind this time. Or maybe, I mean, as comfortable as he is with Sora, Pichu is definitely his better character. So it'll be interesting to see what he has cooked up here for John. I mean, I don't know. Well, well, not much, unfortunately. Sorry, Maddie, and your apple juice. It's okay. He's got it. I believe in him. Down to the up to up air into forward air. Works very well. If relatively. Maddie doesn't win the set, it's because he didn't have apple juice. Yeah, honestly, I believe it. Oh, wait, that's huge. Yeah, the, I'm surprised. I mean, a little bit of weird flubs from both players off stage, but even game. I mean, the obvious thing to note here is that Pichu will not only die really early, but also damages himself, and John is more than willing to just let Maddie fire T-Jolts. But Pichu has that explosive kill power and offstage presence that maybe a lot of other characters wouldn't have, right? Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with you here. And again, I think the way that Maddie plays also, he doesn't really waste T-Jolts, doesn't waste moves. A lot of time when you see Maddie actually throw out a move, it's for purpose. It's yeah. not just to throw out T-Jolt, 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 T-Jolt for an edge guard. Yeah, he's a... Maddie is like a silent killer for sure. He's very, very good at resource management. Very yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, he manages resources, but he still died. I was going to say he's a very efficient player, but I yes. mean... He's died in very efficient ways so far. Hasn't made John work for it at all. It's okay, though. Like I said, he hasn't had his apple juice yet, so if he's losing, that's why. I should have bought him one. I'm sorry, I should have bought him one. Okay. With, see if he can with get sugar. Right here. Yeah, with sugar. Oh, man. I love that from John, actually, because yeah. Maddie has gone for the F smash at the time. And it is really good. You know, it hits below ledge, it kills early, but. Oh, my God. DI in from Maddie. All right, we got water instead. <laughs> I mean, what? Okay. I mean, I, I, when I said Pichu, it was low key a joke. Go Donkey Kong. Screw it. Oh, we're going to Battlefield instead. Actually, I just saw the clip of the stage left screen. I would be surprised to see Sora. No, he's locking no, Pichu. No, he's saying it's the three year Pichu. Okay, three uh three, three, three spec Pichu. Well, it's again, Genlog, come back. To be fair, we miss you. Mm -hmm. If you're Maddie. Not much to go off of in game one. Yeah. So, I mean, we're obviously not counting him out here. He just has to be a little safer. And, you know, he has to up that. He has to make sure he's not being lazy off stage. It's, it's one of the biggest weaknesses of, you know, players when you're playing against John is that, you know, he's the offstage master and you, you make one misstep and then you're gone. Mm. What you got here? Great up after the ledge from John into a forward air. Eagle hits the ball. Let's see what Maddie's got. Spot dodge the grab, but let's see if he got the mash. He does have the mash. Maddie has the neutral. mash. And it's hard to get Pichu out of that anyway, like to connect forward. So, numbers. I think Long has his work cut out for him. Beautiful connection, though, off of the uh, the mash out of the pummel. Alright, keep breathing. Active and ready. Pichu will oh, die. No oh, numbers is fine, actually. Never forget. Oh, Phantom Footstool by accident. Very common thing that happens in Smash Ultimate is when you go for the drop into the jump dare with most characters, you actually input a Phantom Footstool and you go too high. But Maddie here still holding the positional advantage. Let's see what he can get. Some T-Jolts here. Forward smash, uh -huh. but misses the two frame. Great back air though. He's keeping John off of the stage. But the sun, very well placed from John. He knows where it is. He knows where Maddie wants to land. Here's where Matt has been very consistent in where his placement is and where he's been trying to get numbers like really, with really easy kills off stage with that forward dash, for example, right? But numbers really much on top on top of it at all times. Yeah. Again, getting another sun citation almost fully charged as well. This is a skill percentage Ooh. for uh, Nighton. Great down smash to hit John on the way up though. And I mean, deep breathing's online, but Pichu has those explosive combos and some of that crazy kill power that you really need to make comebacks like this. Not even like Maddie's down that much anyways. Great forward air. Let's see if we can link it anything. John opts the directional air dodge off stage. Oh, we're charging out. Oh, we are yeah. charging out all the way up. Charging it there. You can't you can't commit to any bad position against Wii Fit when she's off stage, because she'll always throw the ball at you. Yep. But I mean, I like where Maddie's head's at. He's he's opting to not go for those off stage plays and instead opt to, you know, just play the ledge situation. Great thunder. And Maddie Ton has the lead in game two. I mean, it's not a huge lead, but it is a lead. It's a lead. I. 10 second timeout. 
it was a lead, right? For and and for any other character, it would have been a really good lead to have to get some extra credit on numbers as much as you can before that stock was going to be taken in inevitably. But it, it also is unfortunate that Pichu just does damage on himself. No way. No tech. Yes way, actually. Oh no, no tech. P. Oh wow. I I mean it's really hard to take that. Like I I want to because there's a delay on both the time that it takes you to get from the thunder to Pichu, and also the time it takes for you to get from Pichu to the stage. And then yeah, it, it, the teching is really Pichu weird. And honestly, like just really great position because Maddie went low, understanding that the time to strike was now. Yeah, which is something that a lot of players, you know, it's really hard to have that understanding. We're running it back to battlefield here. Just letting you know, it's a weird tech for you, but me personally, oh, I would tech that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then died anyway. No, you would have hit down B and hit Zoom. I'm either. saying. <laughs> yeah, Mott never doesn't even put himself into offstage situations. I don't. I never am offstage. I am always in the middle, but only in the middle. I don't go nowhere else. I was, I was center stage with the blast. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Maddie's on here. I mean, we've already started off a little more aggressive from both players. A spike to start off what game is happening? three. What is happening? Maddie Ton. The John Numbers killer? He's possibly? Throwing, he's throwing the kitchen sink here at, at John Star. He's going like, for everything. No, I know, I know. Me too. Completely flabbergasted. Like, Maddie has completely woken me up here, where it's a matter of like, I've seen numbers take sets off so quickly, and you're playing a character who does die very quickly, who dies to everything that numbers can throw yeah. at you with deep breathing. But Maddie is pretty much showcasing like what Pichu can, what Pichu's kill power really is about. Yeah, and I mean, one. I mean, I know like it's it's like very like obvious, but one of the easiest ways to kill Weaver Trainer is a spiker. And Pichu yeah. has some of the best spikes in the game. That down air is so active, so strong. Shields the sun, good stuff from Maddie. Let's see what he's got. T jolt in. John is planking this ledge for his life right now. But the T-Jolt knocking him away. No F smash and a get up attack resets the situation. Maddie is right back in there though. Alright, up air into the yeah, absolutely. Take it has to take numbers back off stage as fast as possible. Because the game plan is working so well. One of the only things I can to catch against test numbers. What we can't do though is fumble or forward smash on the ledge. Numbers is so keen on picking up on that fumble. Yeah, and that is a brutal situation to be in for Maddie. I, the wind is knocked out of the wind can be knocked out of your sails really easily. I hope he keeps his head in the game. Let's see. Nerba gets contested. Nerba gets shielded. Jab block. Uh, he might be dead. Might be dead. Be... Be dead. No. Sorry. Not dead quite yet. Yeah, yeah, excited. I, at Smash Island, that killed. As at the Dome, it killed actually. Yeah. Oh, great F tilt here. Maddie, once again, like we talked about against Raptor, his, uh, his, uh, prioritized prioritization of positional play is really showing here, where he is just. He's just waiting like a shark in the water for John with the up tilt to the up air. This is so dangerous. I mean, a full charge sun will kill, but the down oh, smash will pick it up. Down has to pick it up, and we saw this, what this happened. We saw this happen, Jay. We saw it. We, we, saw, saw, it. It. we, saw, okay. we saw what happened. Yeah, press one in chat if you believe in Maddie Time. Press, press two. two if you believe for John. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Wait, we, can't, we, we could have a great setup right there. Oh my god. John's off stage once more. Mansion at 90%. Does. Look at the discipline from Maddie right now. He's doing his best. He's pressuring John at the mid-range. It's perfect. Back air, John's off stage. T jolts the wrong way though. Back air, John is off stage. Maddie air dodges the ball. No F no! smash. You can't F smash there. You need to maintain your position. No more F smashing on ledge. It's, become, it's become a, a habit that numbers has picked up on so quickly and has fixed so quickly as well. So it's a matter of Maddie has to bring numbers back off stage. Gets a dare. No. He's dead. No way. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my God! Maddie Tung beats John Numbers and makes it to winners finals. What an upset! And Numbers isn't even mad. I and did we, not see the golden ratio control throw. And we talked about, I mean, game one. It could have been a fluke. Like Maddie just got cheese. He brings it out game two. He gets the thunder. He gets the downer spike. In game three, he does the same. The explosive kill power of Pichu on display. Wow. He pulled that opening out of nowhere, really. The nair into the the nair into the thunder. I believe in the Pichu. I I mean I think I'm swapping out after this anyways. I'm gonna give my son a pat on the back, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, I'm mean, honestly like That was that was huge. Apple juice, go crazy. Look, yeah, and honestly, like I don't wanna sound like I'm discarding numbers at all. I'm just Oh no, numbers is 
You know. It's more like num we we always if someone beats him, it's a huge deal. Yes, it is a very big deal. It's a very big deal. Very big deal. It's a very big upset as well. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Maddie Ton in winners finals. I'm very I'm very proud of Maddie. Actually, I can't lie. I'm very proud of Maddie. You're the youngest person to win a Zeno. Low key. How old is Maddie? Like 16 or 17. A lot of things just made a lot of sense really fast. <laughs> like really fast. You know that there's there's been times where he's made it to 